Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. Now, recently we did combine the NFC running backs in every division into one player and see which one came out on top, and that was the NFC North, the division that also won the quarterbacks video. We're gonna see if they can do it again, but they're gonna have to beat an amazing AFC running back because there are a lot of good ones in that conference. If you want to get your account grinded all the way to the max level, or if you want players, you want coins, you want training, you know where to go, man. Muttreserve.com. Use my code CK for 15% off your order, and I promise you'll be rich one day. Why not start with the AFC East, man? We're looking at Damian Harris, the starter from New England. Now, he gave us a lot of attributes, but we did take a few from the other running backs in the division. Michael Carter gave us his catch and traffic, his spec catch, his short route running, and his deep route running. Devin Singletary gave us his agility, his BCV, his COD, spin move, and juke move. Now, Malcolm Brown didn't give us any actual attributes, but he gave us his height and weight, easily the biggest in this division. And then the age, we went with the young Michael Carter. So all in all, the AFC East running back ends up being Malkmian, single Carter. 85 overall, does not have abilities, unfortunately, but still very solid. Now we traded Nick Chubb to the Ravens because this is a team that just recently tied the record for the most 100 yard rushing games in a row in NFL history. So having a guy like Lamar at quarterback who can run the way he can, and then now this guy, Nick Chubb plus three other guys combined. I mean, let's take a look at the attributes. Joe Mixon, one of the most underrated running backs in my opinion in the league gave us his acceleration his agility his cod spin move juke move catch and traffic spec catch and his deep route running just an all-around beast Najee harris the young guy gave us his catching his short route running medium route running release and jumping. Now, unfortunately, Latavius Murray, just like Malcolm Brown, didn't give us much in terms of attributes, but he did give us his 6'3 height and his 230 pound weight. Najee Harris, youngest guy, gave us his age. And this might be the best running back we've seen in any of the videos so far. Najvius Mix Chubb, leading the way for the AFC North. Now, I'd say it's 1A, 1B between Najvius and this guy. We already knew Derrick Henry was a tank. He was already a 96. Now he's up to a 99. That's because he took the speed and the acceleration from Jonathan Taylor along with the spin move and the juke move he took the jumping and the change of direction from James Robinson and then I didn't know Mark Ingram was this good at catching the ball because he took the agility from him the catching catch and traffic spec catch all the route running and the release from him as well. Now, we already know the height and weight. I mean, Derrick Henry, he's a very big individual. The age, Jonathan Taylor's only 22. So now you have another 99 overall juggernaut of a human being, John James Henry Graham, leading the way for the AFC South. And then this might be my favorite running back we've seen in the video. Loved Clyde Edwards Hilaire coming out of college. Eckler's quickly becoming one of my favorite running backs to watch. And then you have a guy like Josh Jacobs who gave us his strength his break tackle, and his trucking. Melvin Gordon, the starter for the Broncos, gave us his awareness, his BCV, stiff arm, and surprisingly, his juke move. I didn't know he had it like that. But in my opinion, Eckler is the best running back in the division. He should be higher than what he is in Madden right now, but he gave us his speed, his agility, his spin move, catching, catching traffic, spec catch. Of course, his route running. He's one of the best receiving backs we've seen in recent memory, and then the release. Edwards Alaire gave us his age. Height went to Melvin Gordon. Weight went to Jonathan Taylor. We created the all-around specimen known as Joshvin Eckler Alaire, leading the way for the AFC West. So now we're gonna see the AFC West take on the AFC South, and then the AFC East take on the AFC North. Joshvin and the AFC West currently with a commanding lead in the fourth quarter. When you combine a great running back like him with this amazing passing offense, it's easy to see why they're up so big. He already has 103 yards and a touchdown on the game, so he's definitely doing his part. You know the passing game's doing their thing. Mahomes dropping back, three-step drop, easy first down. Look at that, 251, four touchdowns. Mahomes doing his thing. Now they're chewing clock. This one is not looking good for the AFC South play action. Over the middle, Mahomes again. They're in the Titans' territory. Josh Vin on a carry with another first down, shaking off a would-be tackler. One could argue that the AFC West has the most 
underrated running backs as a collective group i mean the fact that none of them have superstar abilities is kind of wild to me like eckler deserves it at the very least jacobs when healthy i think he deserves it as well melvin gordon used to be one of the best running backs in the league so yeah it's just kind of shocking that none of them have abilities but clearly it was enough to get their division to the next round mahomes has a flawless game Tannehill did pretty well run games are pretty decent as well henry graham 16 for 82 5.1 yards per carry Eck larry lair just did a little bit better receiving wise you can see chiefs guys were able to just dominate eckler and laird that's what i was expecting because you know eckler one of the best receiving backs 34 yards two receptions a touchdown through the air while henry graham had zero receptions and the afc south is going home we got a great one right here single carter and the AFC East moving as he catches the ball off the screen, gets the first down. You gotta wonder what it would be like if we use James White instead of Damon Harris. Like James White, one of the better receiving backs in the league. I think he's out for the season, unfortunately. But hey, single Carter doing his thing. Nice stiff arm. Another first down. Let me stop sleeping on him, okay? Because clearly Michael Carter's catches stats combined with Damian Harris, it's, they're doing pretty well, okay? First and 10, Mac Jones, bottom of the screen, incomplete. I'll be honest, I didn't expect this one to be that close. I thought uh, Mix Chubb and Lamar in that backfield would just be too dangerous for any team. They, I, I feel like, especially come playoff time, it would be too much for any team to handle, but right now, it's a close game. Third and 10 for the AFC East. Malcolm Ian, not gonna be able to catch it. Great defense by the Ravens. Uh-oh. Lamar and Mix Chubb. Oh my goodness. Just nasty. As you can see, a Patriots on a season. Fourth best rushing defense today. Almost 300 yards given up on the ground. Yeah, I'll just run the ball. If I'm the AFC North, just keep on feeding him. We already knew Chubb on his own was disgusting, but I didn't know he took that many stats from Mixon. He had, how is he that underrated? I don't even think this man is like a 90. I think he's a high 80s, if I'm not mistaken. It's just, it's, it's a travesty how much he's overlooked. Uh, Najee Harris, one of the better young backs in the league. Gave us a lot of stats man look at mix chubb inside the red zone 251 two touchdowns on a day so much protection for lamar it's not even funny easy touchdown to mark andrews oh mac jones almost slips and falls calais campbell makes him pay for it last chance for the afc east let's see what they're able to do on this fourth down and 15 ravens send a presser it's intercepted and that's a wrap here are the final stats man lamar and mac jones both do two interceptions but oh my goodness nasvius 276 and two touchdowns. I mean, single Carter had a good game. 101, five yards of carry, one touchdown, but 12 yards per carry. This is what I envisioned when I thought about this idea, man. These are the type of stats I was thinking would come to fruition. Single Carter did his thing through the air, four for 70. Nasrius had two catches, no yards, but he did plenty on the ground. And they're moving on to the AFC Championship game. We got ourselves a thriller. The AFC North, led by Nasrius is looking to take the lead late in the game. Nice completion over the middle by Lamar. He's doing his thing, man. Five wide on this first and goal for Lamar Jackson. Nasvius to the top of the screen, I believe. 101, he's not gonna look there. Instead, he's going to Andrews, his reliable tight end. Oh my goodness. That was the nastiest stiff arm I think I've ever seen in Madden. Here come the AFC West. You know you can't count them out with this offense. AFC West needs a conversion badly. Mahomes gonna get a hit as he throws it. And it's incomplete. Now you just run the ball. Give it to Mix Chubb. He's breaking every tackle. AFC North with a hard fought W against the AFC West. Mix Chubb almost had back to back 200 yard games. He had 196 and four touchdowns. Him and Lamar combined had well over 200. Eckler Lair did his thing. 113 yards on six carries. Why didn't they give him the ball more, man? Two touchdowns, 19 yards per carry. They should have definitely given him the ball more. But this one was a phenomenal game. Eckler Lair added another touchdown through the air on four catches, 41 yards. Mix Chubb actually added another touchdown. So that's five total in this game. He is by far the best running back we've seen. And they got to be the heavy favorites going into the Super Bowl against the NFC North running back and his team. Here we go. In the Super Bowl, man, De'Aaron Moncookery. Remember, he's the guy leading the way for the NFC North. They're currently down seven points. Man, Rodgers has thrown two interceptions, but it's still a close game. Third and two. Rodgers somehow finds a way to keep the chains moving. I don't know how he completed that, but there's a flag. Pass interference on the defense. Wow. Oh, wow. What a catch right there. Moncookery off to the races inside the 10. 
Yeah, that, talk about an all-around running back, man. That's Aaron Jones combined with DeAndre Swift, Dalvin Cook, and then David Montgomery. They have no weakness. And look at Calais Campbell. And they're going to settle for the three. Why are they still passing is my question. Almost intercepted. What are they doing, bro? You have Mix Chubb in the backfield. Hand the ball off. I just don't get it. Clock stops. Third and ten. Now you have to pass. And it's another incompletion. Literally one of the worst drives I think I've seen in recent memory. Three straight incompletions and a punt. When you have the lead and the ball late in the game, I just don't get it. I want to say last chance, but hey, you never know, man. Nice dot right there by Rodgers. And here's another handoff. De'Aaron with the first down. Rodgers on second and seven. One timeout left. Calais Campbell again. So it all comes down to this. Fourth and three. They set the blitz. It's a touchdown. NFC North takes the lead. So this is how it's going to end. The AFC North, led by Lamar and Najvius Mix Chubb, are going to fall short unless they can convert this Hail Mary, which they're not able to do so. Oh, there's a penalty. Wait a minute. There's a penalty. They called a penalty on a Hail Mary. Oh my God. So now it's first and goal. This is insane. They're going to tie it up and send it to overtime. I've never seen an interference call on a Hail Mary at the end of a game. AFC North got the ball first in overtime, but they did nothing with it. So De'Aaron is going to get the ball back. Oh my goodness. Rodgers throws an interception. I don't know why these teams don't run the ball. Holy shit. Look at what the red line is for Justin Tucker, man. That's insane. Usually it's around like the opponent's 40, but it's behind the midfield line because he made that 66 yarder a couple weeks ago. Second and eight. Najvi is trucking Kenny Clark. That's a man that has inside stuff. Nah, this is the best running back I think I've ever seen in any Madden. I, I mean, this is unbelievable. I, if I'm them, I just hand the ball off to him every single play and, and let him keep on doing what he's doing. And here it is, Justin Tucker for the win to give the AFC North the W. Off the upright, but it goes in just like his 66 yarder. You can't make this up. Perfect ending to the running back portion of this series, man. Obliterate the like button. That's all I asked, man. My birthday was yesterday. So if you could just like the video, that's the only present I want. The more likes I see, the faster we'll get the wide receiver version completed, man. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Don't forget to subscribe for new. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Noties don't be going out, so I've been tweeting out the videos. Enjoy Monday Night Football, and until next time. Nobody's safe. Came from heaven, we fresh out the gate. And I look like I came from LA. From New Jersey, I look like LA. I'm a water, I'm from in LA. I'ma get it, it's my for the tape. Ride the beamer when I'm out of state. Could it be almost got me a case? Go Olympic, I'm winning the race. Now I won cause I'm killing the game. Talking crazy, I'm going insane. Shifting gears and I'm switching the lane. How about stations just going to tame? Going up so I'm making a name.